No Soap Radio. It's a practical joke in which the comic makes a punchline at the conclusion of the joke that has nothing to do with the joke's body while pretending to laugh. If the other person laughs along, the comedian asks him to explain the joke, which makes him feel awkward. Anti-H humor. This kind of alternative humor makes people laugh out loud because they're surprised that there isn't a joke or punchline at the end. A well-known example of this is the Shaggy Dog story, which tells an incredibly long yarn without ending with a punchline, initially confusing the audience. Sarcasm. It's usually used to express scornful mockery or criticism. It's characterized by saying something but cleverly meaning the opposite. The irony is understood by the tone of voice and the context in which it's used, focusing only on the words themselves may not be enough to grasp the underlying irony. Sarcasm is typically employed in casual settings. Slapstick. Frequently referred to as physical humor this kind of humor involves putting people in uncomfortable, painful, or humiliating situations, and because it's physical in nature, it's usually full of real or simulated physical violence intended to make the audience laugh. It's also one of the only kinds of humor that can only be appreciated visually. White humor. It's the most innocent kind of humor because it doesn't involve making fun of other people or any other offensive material that could offend others. It is mostly directed towards children and teenagers because it is devoid of insults and malicious intent. Dry humor. It's a kind of inexpressive humor that consists of making a joke without using body language and delivering it in a direct, serious tone. Its best qualities are the observation's wit and precision, which contrast with the comedian's lack of emotion. Black humor. Addressing unsuitable or delicate subjects like violence, handicap, or death with the intention of making people laugh through emotional shock is what defines black humor. This kind of humor necessitates a high degree of tact and an understanding of the situation in which the joke is being told, as it can easily exceed the boundary into outright insults. Black humor has the benefit of being able to diffuse awkward situations and lessen the suffering they cause. Satire Satire is the use of humor and exaggeration to expose and critique a situation. It is typically employed in modern politics to explain societal inequalities through irony. Satire can be done for amusement alone or as a means of venting the comedian's genuine dissatisfaction. Surreal. It is distinguished by its lack of coherence and logic, and it can be one of the most difficult forms of humor to employ as the comedian must strike a balance between absurdity and surreal humor. Green humor. It's a kind of crude, bad taste, implicit and explicit sexual humor that makes people laugh out of humiliation. Of course, the most explicit jokes are meant for an adult audience, but this is one of the most universal forms of humor because people from all socioeconomic classes can understand it. Grotesque humor This kind of humor is visual and is primarily employed by cartoons, who can more readily exaggerate and distort characters' characteristics to make them appear ugly or scary. It evokes a range of feelings in the viewer, making them feel both repulsed and entertained at the same time. Reaffirming and autodestructive. Though they are both forms of self irony, these two mean distinct things. Reaffirming humor is the result of the urge to laugh at oneself, especially under difficult circumstances, in order to lift one's spirits. Conversely, autodestructive humor is self deprecating or self punishing, and it may indicate low self esteem. Observational. It's one of the most popular forms of humor in stand-up comedy and is based on typical elements of daily life. The comic uses expressions like have you ever noticed that to make an observation on something that is not frequently acknowledged yet is common enough for their audience to be aware of. Insult comedy. Mostly consisting of crude remarks aimed at fellow performers or the audience, particularly hecklers, insult comedy can be improvised or organized, with comedians hosting events known as roasting sessions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more enthusiastic content.